Marcus Sununu. All right. You guys excited? Come on, we're at an array in Indianapolis, back for the first time in a few years. This is absolutely awesome. And we got a full crowd. We got a full room. I was out there walking the floor today, seeing all the incredible manufacturers, thousands of people walking around, getting excited about not just the Second Amendment and the politics and all that, we'll get to all that, but just the freedom, the individual opportunity to be part of something, be part of something a little bit bigger than ourselves. That's exactly what America is all about. So as a lot of you know or not know, I am from the live free or die state, as we are very proud in New Hampshire to remind ourselves and the rest of the country. And I always tell folks, it is not some cute motto on our license plate. It is truly the essence of what we do, how we live, how we manage our communities within New Hampshire. And the heart of that is, so I'm like, are these teleprompters, by the way? <laughs> Who's using teleprompters? Come on. Really? Look, the heart of that, the heart of live free or die, it's limited government, low taxes, local control, individual responsibility, all of these fundamentals that as a Republican governor, I try to remind my other fellow Republicans around the country, the founding fathers had it right. As we say in New Hampshire, they were wicked smart, right? But they were. It's about the individual. It's about the states. The last thing this country should be about is the federal government. I am from the government. I'm the governor, and I'm telling you, it ain't about us, right? I am not here to solve your problems. Government is not here to solve your problems. What are we here to do? Create opportunity. Create doors of opportunity for you, your family, your business, your school, whatever it might be. And then you do you. That's what live free or die is. You walk through the door of opportunity that best fits your needs, not the door of opportunity that the government forces you through. That's the old way of doing things. And look, the most important part of someone in a position of power, a governor, a president, whatever it might be, the most important part is knowing the limits of that power, the limits that can be very easy to say, well, I, I, I'm right, so I'll just force that community to do that. I'm right, so we'll force that state to do that. Man, I don't care whether you're Republican or Democrat. You start down that path, that is a precedent that is un-American, that we are not getting ourselves out of. I'm looking out here at thousands of people in front of me. It's about you. It ain't about us. We have to appreciate this job, if you will, this responsibility, this opportunity when we re represent the citizens that we, rep we represent, the opportunity is so much bigger than ourselves. And you have to walk into these situations, whether you're talking about the 2024 election, where you're talking about your neighbor that's running for the planning board or the school board. We all have to have a little bit of that live free or die in us to remember what is at the essence that, ama that makes this country great. And I don't mind saying it, I've seen a lot of Republicans that I respect very much but man, do they cave under the political pressure when it comes to the Second Amendment. What is that about? The politics get involved, they get all this pressure on them. At the end of the day, you gotta pull yourself out of the politics, you gotta ignore it. You gotta say what is best for my citizens, for this country, and what is best is their opportunity. And look, let's face it, I remember a, uh, a very prominent Republican a couple years ago I think he said, uh, I think we need to take the guns away first. Take them away early, he said. What is that about? And I'm always going to hold folks accountable, not just the Democrats, not just the left wing, but even those in our own party. Because at the end of the day, when we share those ideals of true freedom, of true individual responsibility, the team gets bigger. And that's what I want. I want a bigger team. You want more members of the NRA? You want more members of the Republican Party? You want more independents getting on, on, on board? You want that next generation saying, you know what, those are the guys I want to be associated with. Those are the guys that are inspiring us to be bigger than ourselves, not just yelling at us all the time. What's with all the yelling, by the way? That's another one. I always, I always laugh at that. I see all the, like my fellow politicians, they're like, they're yelling at somebody. I said, look, man, no one gets inspired by getting yelled at. <laughs> I try to remind them, look like you're enjoying your job. I'm the governor. I've got to tell you, it's a great job. It's, it's hard. 24-7, lots of responsibility. Any tragedy that hits in my state, I got to be there on the ball, ready to go with a system designed in place to create that opportunity for the community, right? But man, when we're always yelling at each other, we're not going to get it done. Just to talk about the politics, I get nervous about 2024. 
If we don't have those independents, if we don't have those folks back on the team, those disenfranchised voters, it ain't going to happen for us. We can yell and scream all we want, but we want winners. We want winners for tomorrow. And so we got to be inspirational. we got to be, big again, bigger than ourselves. Now, obviously, when you talk about leadership, when you talk about what could happen, you know, we're talking about the issue of the day, if you will. You see these tragedies, these mass shootings in school. It's real. It's at an unprecedented level. And every time there's a mass shooting, every time there's a tragedy, what does the left do? They blame you. They blame you. They blame politics. They make a political story out of it. As opposed to saying, what is the crux of the issue? We know the crux of these issues. It's undiagnosed mental health. It's a lack of opportunity in schools. It's not supporting law enforcement. It's not supporting SROs. It's not hardening of the schools. All these things we do in New Hampshire. We don't just sit back. Well, we passed a law. Well, they gave me a red flag law. Yeah, they gave me red flag laws, and I gave them a red veto pen, right? Because that's what you have to do. I saw someone getting excited because they were going to sign constitutional carry in four years. I signed it in four weeks because that's what's right. So we saw Biden last year. I'm sure he doesn't remember, but we all do. He starts threatening the executive orders. You remember this one? Oh, we're gonna just, I mean, he was just gonna do executive orders to confiscate firearms and limit firearms and all of that sort of thing. So we quickly passed a law in New Hampshire that said, you're the federal government, we're the states, we go first, federal government, shove it. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Look, my closing message is think big. Think big, think excited, think positive. How do you grow? How do you inspire? How do you, again, I get back to how do we grow the NRA? How do we grow Republicans? How do we get excited about the opportunity that we're going to create for tomorrow? Not the law, not the imposing regulation, not the penalty on businesses and all that kind of crap. How do we get excited about those opportunities? I'm, I'm from New Hampshire, again, where we're very pro-business. We got some great manufacturers. We got SIG. I love my guys at SIG. I'm sure they're here somewhere. There's a lot of people, a lot of folks here in the 320 out there. That's great. We got Ruger. The red, by the way, the Red Hawk. One of, if you can handle the Red Hawk, the Super Red Hawk, the nine-inch barrel, it's pretty, pretty impressive, by the way. Uh, we got a lot of our manufacturers. We're creating opportunities for them. But I want this team bigger. I want to make sure we're cross. We're not barely in fighting for the finish line in 2024 when it comes to a presidential race or the Senate races or the, well, frankly, what I think are the most important things, the governor's races or down to the school board where actually the most impactful decisions are sometimes made for your family and your community. I want to make sure that we are crushing this thing as a team, where it's not even a question, where the days of advertising to someone, hey, vote for me because I supported this policy. That is so old school, man. We have to influence. We have to use all the tools and all the resources at our needs because let me tell you, as bad as the Democrats are, they're good at the influencing. They're good at the messaging. Look at what they've done with young people. Look at what they've done with academia. That's real. That's happening. Now, we can sit here and complain about it. You can complain about the ultra left wing media, or we can actually do something about it and actually talk to our families, talk to our coworkers, inspire folks in our community to get them back on this team. And let's remember what's at the heart of every American, right? It's about tomorrow, the opportunity of tomorrow. It is not in our DNA as Americans to settle. It's not in our DNA as Americans to say, yeah, the leadership of yesterday is going to be our best chance for the leadership to of tomorrow. Are you kidding? This is America. We want the next big idea, the next 2.0, the next generation, whatever it is. That is at the heart of why we are the envy of the world. Everybody wants to come to the United States. It ain't by accident. It's because we create opportunity. Keeps going back to that. So let's remember when we're talking to folks and we're making this team bigger, what is at our heart as, our, as Americans? What have we done really, really well, as we say in New Hampshire, wicked awesome. What have we done really, really well for the last 200 plus years? We believe in you, the individual. We believe in the community. We believe in the schools. We believe in the parents. We believe in those fundamentals that make us great. And we inspire folks to the point where the entire world wants to be here. And what is at the heart of all that? A little bit of that live free or die. That's what it is. If you want to take the model for your own states, that's fine too. And if you want to remind yourselves that New Hampshire is a place with no sales tax and no income tax or interest and dividends tax or millionaires tax, whatever, you can all rethink your life choices on the way home this weekend. That's fine. 
We're open for business. We're the only state growing like crazy in the Northeast. But remember what's at the heart of it all. It's you guys. It's the individual. Share that spirit. Spread it around, and there's nothing that can't stop us. At the end of the day, we just have to ask ourselves, are we going to sit back and whine about losing in 24? Or are we going to get it done? Let's get it done. Thank you, guys.